Now I'm going to be tying a fly called the grey monkey now. The grey monkey is, a, is a basically a, a wet fly. Fished a lot for sea trout but it's a very good brown trout fly as well. But I'm tying it as a, as a sea trout fly. And I'm going to tie it on this, this hook here. This is a Kenso wider hook. It's called the Black Spay. You see it's size 8. Uh, it's going to be the first on it. I mean I do tie other flies uh, using this, this, this hook. But I think it will suit this fly and especially for the sea trout. Now we start off with a light coloured thread, finish off with a black. Now this is a, a yellow olive, you can see it's a UTC and 70. It's just to keep the back of the fly nice and nice and bright because it has a yellow body, well half yellow body. So catch on the thread, remove the base piece. And the way down I'm going to tie in some gold tinsel. This is going to be the tag. Now normally there's not a tag on the fly but I'm putting one on this. So in a style of fly. I'm just going to spin the thread flat so that it covers really quick and nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take it down until in line with the point of the hook. Come back up to 3 mil. Then I'm going to some super glue on at this point here. So that I can basically this will protect the, the tag at the back. And we want to do it basically slightly over flat, overlapping turns up forming a nice shape in the tag to our happy this point here we trim this basically the length of the body half the body is yellow so just use that as a measure the tail of the fly I'm going to use some mallard flank the mallard flank it's uh, got a nice mark feather let me show you in here. It's nice and straight, suits tails as well. Tear it off, don't be shy with the fibres. See this in a natural shape. Now I just want it slightly by the back of the hook. A couple of turns just to get it to sit. There we are, you got a nice, nice tail. Trim this the length of the, the full length of the body. Then we run up with the thread, making sure these are tied, tied in nice and tight. Come back down, ready for the for the body. Now, always best to tie something in the way back down. And the rib, I'm going to do that. This is a gold, oval gold tinsel. It's a small, or if it's a vineyard, you're looking for a number, number uh, fourteen. So just. Going down, this will balance the body up. That's fine. Floss I'm going to be using, it's just a, just a nice rayon yellow floss, and this one's by Uni. There's lots of companies that sell floss. I'm just going to run it through my fingers a wee bit just to open out the floss. Just fold around the thread, slide it up underneath. Then we can pull it in to suit. Use the floss, the thread to come up, nice and tight. Again, always thinking in a smooth body. Looking about halfway, and then we can wind this up. We are flattening the floss out to get it started, and then we can form our body using the floss. This point here, across the thread. You trim this a length, length of the body itself, and then again we can best tidy this up. All I'm doing here is just stopping the cut end or the waist end of the floss coming around with the thread, just tapping it to keep it there. Then we can bring this down, but before I do that, I'm going to change threads. I'm going to change to the black uni thread in 8 all so the way down. Trim away the race piece in the black and the uh, olive yellow thread. This point here. Now, in the original fly, it was grey monkey it was used. That's hence the name of the fly. But I'm going to use grey squirrel. It's a natural grey colour, much like probably the monkey would be, but not as long. 
it will work. You can use a grey SLF, any kind of dubbing. There's lots of dubbing you could use for this. Uh, you could use seals for dye grey as well. Anyway, so I'm starting it off. Uh, build it up. Just spinning the, the dubbing as I go. It's forming a nice shape. Now, I'm going to tie the wing on first and then finish off with the hackle in front. So, normally the hackle would be put on and then the wing, but I'm doing it in this style. So, then bring your rib up. You're looking around about five turns. Three, four, five turns there. Just throw any fibres going towards the eye, draw them back with your fingers. And then follow up with the thread, tying in your gold tinsel. Trim away the waist. Now I'm just rubbing the end of that cut with my nail. What this does, it'll flatten the tinsel and open the thread turns of the the core of the oval tinsel, so it's nice and flat. Uh, as well, what I'm going to do now is a wee bit of velcro here just to bring out some of the, the fur, especially the grey, no, the grey guard hairs you get in the grey squirrel. There you go, just going to roll it back with my finger so it's naturally lying back towards the back of the fly. The wing. Just, this is a mallard primary feathers from the wing. The right and the left. Just tie these on normal way with a curve. You can have them curving away if you want. But I'm having them curving in so they're curving to the body. So I'm going to line up the ends. they're the same length, same width as well, so that's an important thing, you get the width the same. Now you can see the inside of the wing, so I'm going to fold this over. Now I'm going to put it so the tips are towards the barb of the hook. Fold it, hold the wing, nice and tight, do a pinch and loop, bringing through the loop and controlling that turn of thread. Do it two or three times. See how the wings sit. Now if it doesn't sit for you the first time you can always go back. So we quick look. Now it's not perfect so I'm going to go back just to show you that my side's fine. It's always the same one side. You can see that side that's sitting really nice. This other one's sitting slightly out so what I'm going to do is go back. Don't worry, you can go back. Let's get these to sit right. And uh, I mean, it's once we once you start to fish the fly, they'll all open out anyway. But it's always good to get them right. Nice and easy, as I say. Allow the thread to come through. I feel times anyway. The second time, the, the wings will sit better for you. Now it's just a wee tad low, so I can just lift it a wee bit. Use your nail to lift these. Everybody's got their own idea of the way the wing should sit. You can see it's roof style, like sitting sitting up. Uh, you can always take away, I feel it's just a wee bit low. I'm just going to try and encourage it to sit up. Let's see, yeah, it's looking. That's fine, not a bit. And then we can trim away the excess. Wings, they're always a tester for anyone, but as long as you get the main shape and length, you'll be quite happy, I'm quite happy with that. Hackle, I'm using a natural done, this one here, this is a Mex Grade 2, it's a hen cape. Now, I'm not shy, I quite like a long fibre. So, tie it in by the tip, just reveal the tip of the hackle. The front of the hackle is facing myself, so I just offer it to the side of the hook. A couple of turns down, fold back the hackle, 
she turns back up, slide your fingers back to the tip of the hackle, jumps out, and you'll see it there. Then you can break that off, and then it's quite simple, we can draw back the fibres and wind. Just watch the thread, one turn in front of the other, do it as straight as you can. Just come round, just come up, draw back the fibres, come straight down. Give you enough hackle. Depends how good the hackles are, depends the number of turns you need. I think that's, that's plenty. So across the thread, put a bend, a 90 degree bend into the stem. What that does, that opens out this, the fibre so you can get the thread turned right into the stem and the hackle. And we take it down, now you could trim that away, be neat, but I like to fold it back. So everyone's tucked back nice and tight, strong hackle. We can break that off. There we are, see how it's looking. It's not too bad. Never get the wings perfect. There's always one side, one wing slightly different from the other. Two jungle cock eyes. I put one at a time on just to show you. So now here, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna re remove the fluff. From either side, that reveals jungle cock eye, but see the wee black area. I want to tie on that. That's the best part to tie on because it's it's like a fine velvet, if you want to call it, fine hair, and it sits in really easy. You can control the jungle cock really well. To the other side. Obviously, you want the Jungle cock eyes to be the same size. Let's check. Again, offer it to the side of the, the wing. If it's a wee tad long, and it has a wee tad long, so I'm going to just pull it in. Just make sure it's sitting where you want before you go any further. Put two or three more turns in there just to show you. There's the eye, sitting fine. Kind on down. Fold these back again, like I did with the hackles. Jungle cock will never pull out. You can break these away, or cut them away, it's up to yourself. Just keep the thread tight, always. And then, whip finish, just form a nice head with the thread. Tighten the whip finish up, trim away the thread. Do a better job than that. And there we go, just have to varnish the head up. It's always a one wing's better than the other. Got a better shape, you can see that one, that's a that's a nice shape that wing. It's not too bad that side too, but it's okay. And then what I like to do is get some super glue first. Just touch the head all the way around. Allow that to dry. It doesn't take long. Super glue dries really quick, hard. Uh, basically, then a couple of coats of varnish. Single coat would do it, like, but a couple of coats would make it really shiny. And that's your your grey monkey. So nice pattern. Good good flight tie. I like it on that hook. So I hope you enjoyed that.